Hi everyone, it's Mrs. Felder from Kipways Primary again, here to read another story. Um, Ignore my boat, provided by one of my third grade friends. Um, today I'm going to be reading you another one of my favorites. This is a super fun book and it's called The Three Little Super Pigs, Once Upon a Time by Claire Evans. Once upon a time, there were three little pigs. They dreamed of becoming superheroes. In fact, they were so obsessed that their family house became cluttered with all of their superhero collections. So one day, Mother Pig told her little superheroes it was time to find their own homes and she waved goodbye. They walked for hours crossing dangerous rivers and climbing steep cliffs. until finally they arrived at their destination, Fairyland. After an exhausting trip, the pigs decided to set up camp for the night and build their new homes in the morning. Uh-oh, looks like I see a sign that says, danger, wolf roams here. Oh. While toasting marshmallows in their superhero costumes, the pigs met a new friend, Little Red Riding Hood. She warned them about the big bad wolf who'd been terrorizing Fairyland. The wolf had kidnapped Mary's little lamb and stolen the sheep's clothing. He'd even been disguising himself as different grandmas and stolen their clothing. The pigs were warned to be on their guard. Uh oh. The next morning, two of the pigs were desperate to play superheroes with their new friends, so they built their homes as quickly as possible. The first little pig chose a straw home, a straw, excuse me, to build his house, and he gathered all he could find. The second little pig chose to build his house out of sticks, and he collected them from high and low. And in no time at all, their new homes were ready. While his two brothers were having fun, the third little pig was patiently building his house out of bricks. He wanted to make sure it was strong and sturdy, so he worked very hard. Finally, all three houses were ready and the pigs were very happy in their new homes. Uh oh. Suddenly, the first little pig was startled by a terrible growl outside his window. It was the big bad wolf. Little pig, little pig, let me come in, he cried. Not by the hair on my chinny chin chin, squealed the panicked pig. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in, growled the wolf. Whoosh! And with one puff, he blew the house in. The first little pig ran for cover to his brother's house of sticks. Little pigs, little pigs, let me come in, bellowed the wolf. Not by the hairs on our chinny chin chins, cried the pigs. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in. So he huffed and he puffed and whoosh, he blew the stick house in. Dodging the flying sticks and falling the breed, the two little pigs ran as quickly as they could to their brother's house of bricks, narrowly escaping the nasty wolf who was getting very angry and very hungry. Little pigs, little pigs, let me come in, demanded the wolf. Not by the hairs on our chinny chin chins, the pigs replied. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in, screamed the wolf. So he huffed and he puffed and he huffed and he puffed but the brick house would not blow in the wolf was 
furious. Suddenly, the pigs were startled by a loud clanging noise from the outside. The cunning big bad wolf had made another plan to climb onto the wolf and sneak down the chimney. Two of the pigs started to panic, but the third little pig, he had a super plan. He had been boiling a pan of water on the fire all along. It says how to boil a wolf. <laughs> So as the wolf came hurtling down the chimney, he fell bottom first into the bubbling hot pan. With a piercing shriek, <coughs> he jumped out of the water and straight into the pig's neck. The big bad wolf was defeated. The pigs waved goodbye to the silly old wolf as he was carted off to prison. With Fairyland safe at last, the pig's dream of becoming real superheroes had finally come true as the whole town cried and cheered their special new name. Hooray for the three little super pigs! The end. I hope you enjoyed the story. We'll see you next time.